All right, guys, quick video analysis. I'm gonna do it in a way that's gonna help the guy who sent me the video, but I think it's gonna help a lot of people that are watching this to improve both their forehand and their backhand volleys. If we look at this forehand volley here, I want the racket to go right through the hit instead of collapsing like this. You see how it's almost like he's hit a, a baseball, not a tennis ball. The ball's really won the collision. Now, if you're trying to hit a drop volley, that's that's good. You, you absorb the impact, take the pace off the ball. You may see something happen like this where the racket lays back. But really, if you're hitting this volley the way he is, where it's, he's kind of trying to stick it a little bit, you want to make sure the racket doesn't deviate through the impact quite as much as this. So he's going to lose a little bit of control. And the same thing happens on the backhand. Now he doesn't drop the wrist on this, but he's just kind of squeezing tight, not actually playing the shot. He's just sort of has a great understanding of what it should, should look like. And he's just restricting himself to make sure that he controls the ball. And he's not really putting his own spin literally on the shot. He's not striking the ball and controlling it the way he wants to control it. He's just restricting himself and hoping that, you know, he makes the volley. So let's take a look at some examples of a guy that I've worked with or am working with. And you can see how the racket goes straight through the impact. Now, one thing I often do or say is imagine if we took the ball out of this video some CGI magic. We don't want to see the impact of the racket hitting the ball, right? You, if we took the ball out of the frame here, it'd be very difficult to actually see when the ball was hit. That's how clean that is. So it requires you going through the hit. Now, sometimes you'll block a volley and sometimes you'll swing a little bit more at it, but the same concept applies. Now, if we take a look at the forehand volley, we're going to see the same thing. The racket going straight through the hit, striking the ball, not letting the racket deviate or wobble too much. Now, sometimes you'll cup underneath it because you're trying to put a little backspin on the ball. But the same thing, just try and get through the hit. You're trying to strike the tennis ball. Now, another interesting thing to notice and something I encourage people to do to you know, make some technical adjustments is to make sure that you're, or not to make sure, but to try and have your take back and your follow through roughly the same distance. And that's what I mean by striking the ball. You're not trying to block it, you're trying to hit the thing. So his take back to the contact point, however long that is, is the same as the amount that the racket moves after contact. Now, you don't have to get too precise with this. Don't get your, don't get your tape measure out. It's not gonna be exactly the same but roughly so his take back here and his follow through his follow through is a bit bit long there but here he's going to tighten this up and his take back and his follow through and he's a little bit jammed he's done great with his feet to get out the way um, but the take back and the follow through pretty much the same distance and that is what i mean by striking the ball and you can make that as short or as long as you want depending on what you're trying to do with the shot Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to leave you with a couple of my volleys here. Hopefully you can see I'm doing the same thing. But I just got one question, and that's how do you describe a volley? You know, whether you're a tennis coach or maybe a player, you know, how do you describe it? Because I don't really like the, the, the term punch. I don't think that's actually what you do on a volley. And I think blocking is also used. And I think that's what Billy was doing here in the beginning is his sort of blocking it on the forehand and the, 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 the ball's winning the collision and the hand's dropping and on the backhand he's blocking, not getting through the hit and not controlling the ball. So I tend to use, you know, try and strike it, but I just wondered what anyone else's or sort of opinion on this is. When it comes to the forehand, I've made videos about how an old school forehand is more of a swing from the shoulder and the modern one is more of a throw motion. Sometimes when it comes to volleys, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but for me, when I'm teaching it, I'm trying to get people to strike the ball and change their swing accordingly, depending on what, again, they're trying to achieve. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.